Hey YouTube, um, this is Vargas and I am back again with another uh, DVD update. This is part three of the DVDs I picked up through Movie Freak Bazaar. Uh, going to keep it short, uh, see if I can pump out the last part with what little memory I have left. So let's see how this goes. Um, adding to my never-ending Disney collection, and I've mentioned this a number of times, it's my never-ending Disney collection because every time I think I'm close to owning uh, all of Disney movies, I come across Disney movies that I've forgotten about or um, didn't know existed. Uh, one day I'll have <laughs> I'll have a complete Disney collection, but it doesn't seem it's going to happen anytime soon because uh, this time around, uh, from Walt Disney Pictures presents *Man of the House*, starring uh, Chevy Chase and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. This was when Disney was really pushing him. He was in The Lion King at this point, uh, Home Improvement, and they were really pushing him uh, in movies. Uh, and I'm really surprised he didn't, you know, like, became a bigger thing. He was really funny. He was debatably the, the funniest of the of the three brothers in Home Improvement. But I don't know, uh, just things didn't click, or maybe he was too overexposed. Um, I don't know, but he didn't really, like, land the way I guess Disney wanted him to. Um, I, th I think I've seen this movie once. I, I haven't revisited it since. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll give this one a watch. Still sealed. Uh, this is one that I didn't know existed. Uh, Snowball Express. Uh, I can think... I, uh, <laughs> I say this a lot. I can tell you thing one about this movie. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. Uh, no idea. Um... Uh, Maybe about skiing and uh, I don't know, <laughs> but it's a Disney movie, so it'll go in my never-ending Disney collection. Uh, picked up the snapper case of Michael, starring John Travolta. Uh, after his comeback in Pulp Fiction, yeah, he was starting to uh, appear in a lot of movies. Uh, I picked up uh, Phenomenon a while back, and this is another movie that where he starred, where he portrays an angel, the Archangel Michael. And, um, so this one, I thought it was like, it was okay. Um, I, th I, I, I don't know. I, in my brain, uh, this came out at the same time as Phenomenon. And, um, it felt kind of samey. Like John Travolta, did, like he did in Phenomenon. But, um, I don't know. I, it, it's not bad. It's not a bad movie, but it feels too, it feels too similar to Phenomenon. Uh, picked up the complete first season of Sanford and Son. Uh, this will this will play a lot in reruns uh, on TV. Uh, they would they would showcase a lot of old TVs uh, back in the day, uh, like uh, Bewitched, uh, I Dream of Genie, which I loved. I Dream of Genie. Uh, some um, I love Lucy and a couple of episodes of Sanford and Son. I really really liked Sanford and Son. I have no idea how many seasons this thing lasted. Uh, but I'm really happy to add the first season to my collection and uh, revisit the show because I, I, I thought it was funny back in the day. So picked up that. This one, I, I totally only know of this movie because of, I, I, I've mentioned this before, uh, I, I'm subscribed to a lot of YouTube channels and uh, I, I am falling behind on watching a lot of you guys. And again, I apologize for that. Uh, life has been uh, um, kind of messy, but um, I'm, I'm gonna dedicate myself to marathon all, all of you guys. But uh, one of those channels that I I watch is uh, Brad Jones, the Cinema Snob. And before the pandemic, he would do a lot of uh, midnight shows where he would watch a movie and give a review. And uh, that's how I discover a lot of really weird movies that he watches. And he showcased this one, and uh, it's a very touchy subject. Um, but again, whenever he talks about, whenever anyone talks about a movie that I don't know about, I like to see for myself whether it's as bad as they say. That's how I, I discovered uh, Kirk Cameron's uh, Saving Christmas and um, uh, Winter's Tale, which was the one with where Will Smith plays the devil. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like hearing about these weird movies and then watching them for myself. Uh, that's why he also talked about uh, that Trump movie I picked up a while ago. Um, 
and stuff like that. So I, and that's the, the type of collector I am. I like discovering these weird ass movies from other people and then watching them for myself. And this is one of them, which is also a very, very touchy subject. Uh, this is Vaxxed, uh, the cover-up to Catastrophe. Um, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and you can believe whatever you want. As, you, as long as you don't impose your beliefs on other people, and you respect other people's opinion, I wouldn't have a problem with you. Uh, and this one, um, it talks about people that are against vaccinations. That They believe that, you know, they cause... They might cause autism and other stuff. So it follows people that, um, you know, are, are against vaccination. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a touchy subject. Uh, and uh, his video, I, I would totally recommend you watch Brad Jones' Midnight Reviews of Vax. He goes really into detail in this and how, um, what this movie is about. But, again, I, I want to see these type of movies for myself. Um so yeah I, I can't recommend this particular movie but f this is a movie that I picked up because I was curious about and uh, uh, while I personally don't agree with people not vaccinating their kids you know if you have a means to protect your children do so um, so yeah <laughs> I don't know it's just a movie that I picked up for me but again I, I wouldn't be able to recommend that one just like I, I couldn't recommend the, the Trump movie that I picked up uh, picked up this one starring Sidney Poitier and Tom Berenger uh, along with Christy Alley shoot to kill uh, Christy Alley was was a babe back in the day for sure so uh, I don't think I've seen this movie um, so yeah looking forward to visiting this picked up the 20th anniversary edition of Wall Street this is a two-disc set. I did not know this was a two-disc set, which is a, a nice surprise. A uh, really, really good movie from the 80s. Um, looking forward to seeing all the special features in this because I have somewhere, uh, I have a copy of uh, Wall Street, but my copy is a bare-bones release. This is two discs, so that's always fun. Uh, picked up Blind Buy. I don't know. First thing about this thing, uh, Carmen. I don't know. It's about this uh, lady that seduces the soldier and basically just ruins his life. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, picked up a martial arts movie. Um, I'm all in for martial arts movies. Uh, this is China Strike Force. I don't think I've seen this one, so I'm looking forward to seeing this one. And the last one is a movie that I, I know I've seen, but it's been years, years since I've revisited this one. And it's down and out in Beverly Hills. Uh, again, years since I visited this one. I know I've seen this one. I thought it was a, a nice, a funny comedy. But again, I haven't seen it in years. But it's another movie from the 80s that I am uh, looking forward to revisiting. So, there we go. So, uh, like always, when I remember uh, to uh, recommend... Uh, a movie from the pile I do so and I've been trying to be consistent to that uh, I'm going to recommend Wall Street uh, this is a really good again movie from the 80s uh, Michael Douglas is amazing in this uh, all stars Charlie Sheen and Daryl Hannah so I'm going to recommend this one and if you could track it down Sanford and Son the comedy might be uh, a little offensive to people nowadays much like uh, All in the Family might be offensive to certain sensibilities nowadays. But um, back in the day, I, I liked it. Uh, I, mean, I didn't see this when it first released. I, I only caught it in reruns. But I thought it was really funny. So I will also recommend that. So I think I can be able to record one more video. So stay tuned for that. But until I see you all again, uh, please uh, like and comment the video. I, I greatly appreciate it. And until I see you again, uh, stay safe. And uh, I'll see you in a bit.